Hello everyone, welcome again. And today I'm going to show you another project. It's called CGPA calculator. Or you can say mass it generator. How can we generate a mass it? So I'm going to right click on the project. I'm going to run the project and show you how it's working. And this is the flow of the project. So this is the login, or you can say the home page of the application. While well, you're going to find the home page login and I guess and the welcome to CGPA calculator and when you click on the login button it will redirect to login as an admin currently it has only login as for admin only so if i'm gonna uh, check the database and switch to user table so you can see the entry the with the role id one is login as an admin and the password is also admin and that is one to three so right now here we have only uh, admin user so admin only can generate the mark sheet so how can admin generate the mark sheet and assign that mark sheet to uh, and print a mark sheet that for any student so uh, after login admin go to add mark sheet so here admin need to enter the register number <coughs> so for example if I enter the register number CA role one two three four five for example we can create a combination of this and the username is testing last name is testing user <coughs> you can enter like this so you need to select the date of birth so I want to select like Feb 2009 oh. it's 2000 selecting it right gender so male or female enter the branch or bcm ca or bc or something so i said select cs b cs select semester for first semester second semester somewhere so for example i want to create for the second semester so i select second semester and the examination of year of the examination so enter 2019 here i click on the save button you can see the mark sheet is generated and it's uh, automatic generated like the header part of the mark sheet the name testing user the registration number is uh, they are CA roll 1 2 3 4 5 that we recently enter in the inputs and the date of birth genders month and year examination and second semester for the second semester these are the subject codes serial number and the name of the subject and here now admin need to enter the grade grade letters so for example for in this particular subject um, a, a student got a, a marks a grade o grade a plus for example b plus b you can uh, set a criteria according to the you know, like uh, according to the grades so that particular subject will contain its credits for three years or something so if user gonna pass you will cover the all the credits so there is two button is there below the mark sheet reset or credit if i click on the reset that all the data will be reset for example like this all the data is gone then let me select it again and this time we are going to generate a mark sheet So I click on the generate mark sheet. So you can see the final mark sheet is there. Second semester, latest grade credits, and the calculation is here like credit register. So this total will be 24, and the credit earns. Then total will be 24 because user is passed, and the grade points earned by the user 6.35, and calculative credits earn 24 and it's like CGPA is 6.38 and media one and date and signature of the candidate coordinator exam after print we can do that this things like date of the generate mark sheet we can print that dynamically or we can manually enter the after print of that mark sheet so I'm click on the print result and you can see it's asking to save me in a PDF format and when I click on the save button it's asking me to save that PDF so I can save it as a mark sheet one 
so then you can see the view this is your print so let close it and check the another thing like eight subject so whenever uh, admins lack 10 in semester he goes some subjects so according to the semester uh, admin can add the subjects like for example for the third third semester or first semester the admin can add a subject so subject code will be code 23 and the subject notes i want to say operating system OS and the credit will be credit will be 3 if i enter credit here like 5 it will give me a message like credit uh, point is not not going to be greater than 4 so i need to enter some value which, which will be below than mm, 4 or less than or equal to 4 so when i click on the save this time data is saved successfully now let's check in the third semester it's for example I'll, for example i'm going to enter uh, again a new mass it and select the third semester the new the new subject should be displayed in the date in that list so you can see in the third semester the new subject is there with code one two three and os and we can generate again the same march it in the same process i select some oh i reset it generate yeah march it is generated again we can print it again and this is some common things like my profile change password and the log button so finally it we can log out successfully if we talk about the database there is a three tables first one is a user so in the user table if i refresh the new entries are also updated that we have done recently and uh, uh, the first entry with role id one will be the admin another will be the user you can check here whatever the march we are going to generate it's showing it's a search so the, the, the data record it's saving in the user table so all the entries of the students and the subject and marks you can say to whatever the subject and grade points we are going to add in the system that are going to store in this subject marks um, subject mark and the M subject it means market subject, market subject according to the semester. The subjects are going to save here with the subject code, name, semester, and credit point. Similarly, for if we talk about the mark sheet, so we can say the whatever the mark sheet we are going to generate with the user ID, credit total fine, grade, grade point total, and the CGPA we are going to store in this database. Let's talk about some technologies like what kind of technologies we are using during this project. So we are using uh, Java as a core technology and the JSPs for the front end. And you can see JSPs for the front end and uh, JavaScript for the validation purpose. Designing purpose we are using CSS and uh, of course servlet for the server side and it's following the complete mvc architecture so you can see the bean package is there controller is there exception moral and utility so if we talk about the servlet so controller package is completely responsible for the <coughs> request which is going to which is coming from the client side and uh, let's get the request and send the response according to the request and same for the bean so getter setter to perform the getter setter method exception is responsible to handle um, all the application all the exceptions of the complete application and the moral part will take responsibility of the database connection so it, whatever the database connection we are going to perform in this application like going to insert the data in database or we are going to get the data from the database so whatever the transaction we are going to perform according to related to marcy related to subject related to user that model package is responsible to perform their activities and some common method is there inside that utility inside that util package and under the web app this is a front-end uh, front-end part of the application and to manage the dependencies we are using the maven so we can say is uh, mbc maven project uh, in the java uh, 
so to manage the dependencies we are using that maven so you, you, you don't need to update or change the dependencies again and again and you don't need to add dependencies every time when you are going to import the project in another machine so like if i come to give you project and you are going to take project from code one and you are going to configure the project at your machine you don't need to add any kind of library it will automatically update libraries in your project so uh, to run that project we are using tomcat server to deploy that uh, application so we are using tomcat i guess 8.5 <coughs> let me check the server detail yeah it's a tomcat 8.5 to deploy the application so <coughs> if you need this code you can check the link in the description box you can go through go through with that link and check the price and uh, process to take that link that there, there should be a email id you can easily uh, mail me on that email id will provide the complete source code and configure that project at your machine also will make that project run at your machine it, like as showing uh, in our video so if you are if you if you, if you really want or someone want that project for the college paper college uh, submission minor project major project or if you want to learn or if you want to see the flow of the project how the things are working so what's really cheap prices it is it's really is available in the really cheap prices please check the description box go through the link and grab it thank you so much for watching for more video related to java or new technologies you can subscribe the code one so you're gonna never miss next video from the code one thank you